Hello guys, my name is Alex Gomez and on today's video we're going to be sculpting in Blender for the very first time. We're going to base our character on the design by Gray Suku, this guy right here, this bald guy, kind of like reminds me of me a little bit. But anyways, so if you're new to this channel, please like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post a video every Friday. So let's get to it. Okay, so first time in Blender, I have a really hard time adjusting. I kind of like practice a little bit before I recorded this video. And one of the things that I really had a hard time first was to realize what kind of uh, brushes and short keys for the brushes are and how to switch between a edit object and a sculpting mode or object mode. But as you can see, even if I'm coming from ZBrush, the process is the same. You're always going to start with the block out, uh, try to define the bigger shapes, try to define uh, the proportions of your character. And I started uh, with, uh, with two different spheres. Something that I like about the process of Blender is that I more efficient doing hard surface modeling in Blender or that kind of uh, 3D software, Blender or Maya. I'm doing more on Blender lately, but uh, in ZBrush I always have a hard time with the uh, uh, C-modeler and hard surface. So it's easier now that I don't have to jump from one software onto uh, to another one to start doing those details like for example some pieces of clothes or watches or uh, accessories that might the character has so it will be easier doing this in uh, using blender that's one of the reasons that i want to switch as well because uh, blender is the blender community is growing a lot it's been like um, has a lot of support the Facebook group has been amazing. Any questions that I have, I just go there and I just ask and they answer right away. It's been, it's, it's an amazing community. And that's one of the reasons that I, I decided to switch to Blender. I'm probably gonna be, keep doing some serious stuff, but uh, be expecting more Blender tutorials as well. One of the other um, challenges that I found uh, using Blender was the Dynotopo and the Remesh. Uh, kind of like I had a hard time understanding what the workflow should be. Like for me, for example, in this case where I have, um, these characters are just for illustration. They're not for animation at all. So when there are for illustration, I don't care about the topology at all. I just want just to sculpt and feel free sculpting. Uh, without uh, saying that I oh, have to have these loops going around this area and around that, the mouth. I really don't care about that because this is just for illustration. When I'm working for production, yeah, I definitely do that. And I, if I do a model in ZBrush, I definitely need to apologize the proper way. And um, but uh, for now, like uh, doing Dynotopo and Serial Measure, I couldn't wrap my head around because uh, it comes with some different topics that probably I will explain later in a tutorial. Where uh, Dynotopo, uh, when you're using it, has like a relative um, geometry con constant uh, detail or relative detail it depends how far or how close your camera is like in zero detail is detailed <laughs> no matter how far or how close so it's kind of like a hard a little bit to get uh, used to it and the other one is is this remesh and uh, when do you use one or when do you use the other one i don't have an idea i don't uh, have an answer for you guys i try to to explore the two options but eventually while well, i'm gonna keep uh, developing more on uh, my skill set and my workflow with blender i'm going to be uh, sticking with a process either using the dynotopo or either using the remesh and see what results uh, they're gonna come with but 
but definitely I think uh, for the first time I like uh, my, my first impression is that I, I can do cool stuff I can move back and forth between um, uh, object mode and sculpting mode which is great and you have all your texturing tools and everything in there in one piece and render and, and lighting and, and that's something that really like captivate me about ZBrush for sure other thing that, that kind of like you know I started like to decide not to decide but kind of like to explore other things so I, like the modifiers like the mirror modifier as well and uh, the subdivision modifier and also I've been developing other characters where I've been using other modifiers for the uh, retopology I was mentioning before but uh, I really enjoyed it more than I had a hard time in the beginning but the only way to get to a good level in Blender is just practice doing your own projects. You can follow as many tutorials as you can. You can follow the donut tutorial, you can follow whatever tutorial, but the time that you decide to do your own project, let's say you're not gonna do a donut, you're gonna do a, a love bread or a cake or an stylized, um, object like a book or a mug or whatever uh, once you decide to do a project you're gonna start not following but researching because you're gonna be stuck in some steps and as you get stuck in some steps you're gonna start googling looking for other tutorials looking how do you for example snap snap uh, vertices in a uh, or align vertices in the same line and uh, like when, like how to use the resolution for the remesh and so on. So it's the only way to actually really learn and really get to it because I was like spending a lot of time doing tutorials and kind of like following along and the only way that I kind of like a wrap around my head in Blender was actually doing my own project and having to get out of my way and start researching different topics that I was getting stuck with. And I definitely recommend, like for example, you guys are really into sculpting, don't follow along a tutorial, just start doing your own. And, um, and kind of like, a, yeah, like it's good to follow the first time, good to follow the first time a tutorial, but then start doing your own work and that's gonna improve your skill level way more because I had a hard time in the beginning learning Blender, but I'm glad that I kind of like uh, climbed that mountain and I'm getting more comfortable to it, and which I'm loving it because uh, the EV render and I'm a lighter as a trade, like that, that's what I do mostly when I work in productions, modeling and lighting. Uh, the lighting in EV is super simple, super easy, super fast, and and gives get great results as you can see my render in the thumbnail or if you are following me on instagram at gomezart 3d you can see uh, my my post uh, of this character that is made on blender and and i really enjoy the instant uh, feedback that you get when you're moving your lights and so on so it's pretty good good result there uh, oh, another thing that i had uh, a hard time too it is kind of like adjusting the navigation within blender and zbrush and also the masking part uh, i know blender has so many brushes but uh, if you can see probably in this process i use probably like around like three four brushes five at the most uh, clay build up crease uh, move move elastic and planner that's it like probably like four brushes and and there's a list but I, I will definitely recommend for every brush that you normally use or the most common brushes have a short key for it because that will speed up your workflow as as well and that was one of the things that really threw me off for example when i was doing um the eyelids that uh, the eyelids had like a way more dense uh, topology than the nose and if i get like a, if i get like a zoom out it looks good but once i zoom in you start seeing a lot of um, kind of like a low resolution in part of the mesh and it kind of like really 
didn't like the look of it because in, in ZBrush it's, it's different, it's just, uh, it could be my settings, something that I have to look into it and uh, define like a, what should I do with Dynotopo and re a Remesh, definitely is something that I struggle but definitely gonna be practicing on it and you guys gonna be seeing a little bit more of a, a sculpting in Blender because a lot more people, a lot of people have more access to Blender. So that's why I want to switch my focus a little bit and start doing my characters in Blender. And not just characters as well. I'm gonna start by doing some modeling tutorials, lighting tutorials, maybe some VFX or animation. It's gonna be a little bit of, of everything uh, but it's gonna be like focus on on 3D. Uh, why I'm doing that and why I'm switching a little bit um, my my theme of my videos or, or my channel. Like I've been doing, uh, like uh, normally I do lighting, but I have work as well as a, as a 3D generalist. So I think I can share uh, my knowledge with you, my production knowledge. Uh, in developing like different assets or developing different stages in the pipeline of, of a studio. So, so definitely like stay tuned for the following videos that are coming. Uh, they're gonna be a little bit different, but mostly are gonna be focused in the beginning in modeling, texturing, lighting, and creating uh, uh, cool uh, assets, like a game ready assets, uh, animation ready assets that's the idea as well so my first impression as uh, for blender as a uh, sculpting tool it's really good for stylized characters really good that it doesn't require as much details i noticed uh, though that when you were uh, when i was putting like way more details it was kind of like lagging a little bit uh, i just have to play more around with the settings and see what is more efficient when i'm using like for example remesh but so far I really love it. I really want to keep uh, developing characters in Blender and I'm gonna be focusing my channel more in, in Blender. Um, we're gonna go through the pipeline, we're gonna go through like um, texturing, modeling, probably some rigging, camera animation, lighting and so on so you guys uh, can get ready to start your career as a, if you want to go into freelance as well i can help you with that so stay tuned there's gonna be a lot of stuff new stuff coming in my channel uh, keep creating keep working uh, keep having fun uh, developing your 3d art and take care guys and i really appreciate it hit the notification bell subscribe if you haven't done so and watch my other two videos take care and see you next week guys bye